Hello and welcome to Candy's Creations from Candy's Couture Canada. Today I am going to show you how to make these little baby bow ties or toddler bow ties. Um, of course the size that they fit depends on the toddler but um, they are adjustable and you can adjust them to the size you need very easily. So I've done a few just to show you. These ones are kind of little kimono style bow ties. Um, with a really cute kimono print my husband and I found while shopping. And we've got these ones here, which are almost a map pattern. I actually believe they're a map of the Mississippi. I think the Mississippi River is on here somewhere. I think right there. Either way, we really liked this pattern a lot. Um, it was really, really nice. And then we've got this just kind of trendy looking bow tie with different kinds of colors and patterns in it so we picked that up as well um, so today I'm actually going to make one of these this is just a typical baby blue um, boys bow tie and it's got little giraffe prints on it um, little lions and I think there's turtles somewhere but either way these are very simple as you can see they're just velcroed fortunately I'm doing this one-handed because I'm holding the camera but they're just velcroed so you can make this length here longer if you need to, um, to adjust to your toddler. Um, this is 12 inches, so this fits, you know, any newborn. Um, this should fit up to a two-year-old. So, um, and again, could fit some three-year-olds. It, it all entirely depends. Either way, I'm going to put this camera down and start. So of course you're going to need a sewing machine. This is my sewing machine. You're going to need scissors, a glue gun, some velcro, and of course your pattern. And I'm pretty sure that's everything. So I'm going to set this down and we'll begin. Okay, I'm going to clean up my area. Now once you've picked out your fabric, here's my fabric. This uh, really cute baby pattern. Now my pattern is, for the bow tie part, you need a piece of fabric that is 10 inches long by 6 inches wide. So cut out your pattern at 10 by 6. Then you're going to need a piece. And this is the piece that's going to go around the neck. So this piece is 12 inches long by 3 inches wide. And then of course the piece that's going to cover your bow tie in the middle, and I just call this the middle strip, I have it 3 inches by 2 inches. So this is extremely simple to do, it just takes a bit of time. So the first thing you're going to want to do is fold the good ends of your fabric together like this. So the bad side of your fabric is on the outside and the good side's on the inside. You can pin this if you like, whatever you need to. And what we're going to do is we're going to stitch from here to here and then down the length here. And we're going to leave this open. So here we go. Don't forget to back stitch to ensure that your thread stays in place. And again, don't worry if you've not cut perfect lines. I personally never cut a perfect line. I wish I could.
So cut your thread off, cut your corners. And then you're gonna take this, and you're gonna turn it inside out. Now cutting the corners makes it easier for when you flip it inside out for the corners to kind of easily form instead of having that extra fabric in them. Now often I take the end of my scissors and just push them on up and through. Hello, unfortunately my camera died while I was doing the last little bit so it's actually a new day and I'm going to be finishing off the um, bow ties that I was showing you guys how to do the other day. So again, here's the piece that I finished off sewing last time. It's right here. So now that you've finished off um, sewing down the middle, we're going to sew this end piece here. So I'm just going to take it and toss it under my sewing machine and quickly just give it a stitch. Now you will be stitching this again, so I haven't back stitched it. Okay. So I'm now going to take these two ends and I'm going to put them together. And I'm going to put the stitch end underneath the finished end. I'm just going to place it under my sewing machine like this and I'm going to sew underneath. And here I am going to back stitch. I'm just going to cut off the spare thread. Okay, so now that we have the sewn end here, you are going to make sure that your sides are even. So I usually do this by folding and making sure that the threaded end is at the very, very edge. And then you're going to fold it in half like this. Now what you're going to want to do here is you're going to want to make about a one inch stitch 
from one side of the threaded line to the other side of the threaded line and it should be about an inch together not an inch on either side of the line so a half an inch on either side of the line to make an inch total so you're just going to pop this under make sure you back stitch this you don't want this coming undone so I'm going to start right about there you know, it's hard to kind of see I'm going to try And I'm going to start stitching. Make some back stitches. I want this to be very, very tight. Okay. So that's the end result, just to stitch through the center. It doesn't have to be perfect, just cut off the excess and I'll show you why. Okay, so now you've got this kind of pleat right in the center. And this is how we are going to make our bow tie. So this next part here, I just use very simply. You can, so this is the middle strip of your bow tie. And this strip is um, the three inch by two inch strip. So you can sew it if you want, but it's very difficult to try to turn this inside out once it's sewn. It's kind of a pain in the butt. So what I usually do is just put a very, you can use a fabric glue or you can use a hot glue gun as long as you're using a small amount and you're just going to want to glue it down the middle. So I'm going to use my hot glue gun here just to show you. So you're going to just want to do a tiny, tiny strip down the sides. you're going to want to fold it into the middle and then you're going to do the same to the other side and you're going to fold it into the middle like that so now you've got a simple strip folded So you're now going to take this strip and this is going to be your center, like that. So now at the end, what I usually do is I take one of these ends here and I add a touch of glue and I just crease it in like that. So now you've got one end glued folded. So this way when I fold it around, and again you can stitch this if you like, kind of saving an extra step here. So you're going to want to put it like that. And here I add another small touch of glue and make sure you're not gluing the actual bow tie itself and you're just gonna place it shut and make sure that it sticks tight and at this point you have your finished bow tie but now we need to make the next strip. So there are two different ways. Actually, there's several different ways. You can take um, just garment elastic, like a elastic band, and you can stitch it through or just place it through here and just have a solid elastic band, um, waistband that uh, attaches around the neck. 
I, I personally don't like that, um, but I do know lots of people who use that. You can also take um, the, you can go to any craft store and you can pick up the, um, the clips for earrings, the earring clips um, for people who don't have their ears pierced. And you can take one of them and you can either make a slit into the fabric here and glue it on the inside and making a clip that you can actually just clip on instead. I've thought about making those myself. Or um, you can just make the band, which is what we're going to do, and you can use the um, uh, hook and loop um, binding to keep it on. So that's what we're going to do now. So we're going to put our bow tie off to the side, and we're going to get our piece of 12 by, I believe this was 12 by 3, it is 12 by 3. So we're going to get our piece of 12 by 3. And we're going to do the same thing that we did with the first piece of the bow tie. We're going to fold the good sides together. And then we're going to stitch up this side and down this side, leaving this end open, of course, to pull it through. Okay, so I'm putting this through my sewing machine. Back stitch here, I'll move it up if it makes it any easier. And I'm just stitching along my edges. It doesn't have to be perfect. almost to the end. So I'm going to back stitch. And I'm going to cut my corner. This makes it easier when you turn it inside out. And now I'm going to turn this inside out. Now I usually use my scissor ends to get it through. Some people use safety pins. I unfortunately don't have one on hand, surprisingly, since I sew. But I don't, so I'm using this today. Almost got this through. And I'm at the end, so I'm just going to poke my scissors back through to make sure that I get the ends poked out properly. like that and there so now I've got my neck piece now you can fold these in and sew them together um, I hate seeing the thread line so I'm just going to add a tiny bit of glue 
and glue them shut. Again, fabric glue works great for this. It's a good clean way to shut the piece. So I'm going to add a touch of glue just to the inside folded. And my end is sealed. Okay, so now I'm going to get um, my my hook and loop. I've picked brown for this one. So I'm going to just cut as much as I really feel like I need. So I don't know, maybe I don't really need lots for toddlers, so maybe an inch or so. So I'm going to cut, I'm going to put them together actually, so I cut them evenly. And I'm going to cut about an inch. I'm going to take my bow tie and I'm going to place the end of my necktie and I'm just going to push it through like so. So now I've got it on here. So now I can figure out where I want to put it. So I usually take the soft end and I place that here and I put it on the inside because that's going to be the piece that will most likely touch your child's neck. So I usually want it to be the soft end, not the scratchy end. You can sew this on, or you can use a fabric glue or a glue gun. Uh, I find the glue gun actually bonds extremely well and keeps it very tight. I've never had an issue with them coming off. So I'm going to glue this down. And I tend to put a bit of glue because it is going to be an area that will be used often, being pulled apart. So I just glued the one side here down, and now I'm going to glue the other side. And then now you have to make sure that, because this is how it's going to attach, so you're going to want to put it on your other piece on this side so it attaches like that. So one goes on the inside, one on the outside. And I'm going to do the same as the first one. I'm going to glue. trying to make sure I get the edges here.
and there you go. So now we've got our cute little baby boy's bow tie. Got to adjust the backing to make sure it's straight. And you just attach it and there you go. Now of course if I was making these, um, if I wasn't just making this for the video and I was making this for our business, I would iron these and ironing is a great way to keep them nice and crisp as you sew them. Makes it very easy to sew them, although this is a fairly easy project as it is. So, um, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial on how to make the baby bow ties, and uh, I hope you guys uh, subscribe to our, our YouTube channel and continue to see all the other great stuff that we're going to be putting up. And don't forget to like us on Facebook at Candy's Couture Canada. Um, I will put the link in the description, and there will be, again, much more to come. So thanks for watching, everybody. And if you do have anything else that you would love to see um, in a tutorial, please feel free to send me a message or leave a comment. I will happily, you know, look into a great way of doing it and making it for you guys. Thanks. Bye-bye.